welcome back to another vlog i am on the street i have lost my voice so i might not be doing a lot of talking come back to the channel go ahead and like comment and subscribe down below and yeah we'll get right into the video so i am currently under the weather my voice is slightly gone i just wanted to let you guys know what's going on so as of i want to say two days ago we they whisper talking to the people. Yeah. As of, as of two days ago, we decided to um, stay in the, I can't do this. We decided to stay in the apartment. So um, I'm making some changes to the room right now. So you guys will see that um, in this, and coming up in the next clip, I'm um, moving stuff around and putting stuff in place. Um, we're also going to be going out to the store today. He also has a drug test to do today for school. So we're going to be out and I'll just be doing B-roll because I can't really talk. So yeah, just hang in there with me and I will check back in later. Go put it in the bucket. Alright, I'm in my stuff. with more drawers so i want one like this what has like the multiple drawers we have the room essentials one that has some storage but it's really just top and bottom i could always buy like a clear a clear like the bin space to go underneath this is how we got the box in the car y'all team battle Campbell, go. Thank you. Hey y'all, we back at home. Um, we picked up the a new t another TV stand for our room, and then I also got this desk instead. So that's the compact desk. Um, Joe's probably gonna build that for us today. And y'all, look at the room right now, like. It's a mess, but there's a lot more space the way we have the room set up. So I'm excited to see how it all comes together. And I eventually want to get like a portrait. We want to get shades, but they have to fix this window first. Um, I think I'm going to move. I'm going to move the mirror back outside. But yeah, so lots of work to do. Um, I'm not going to push myself too hard just because I'm still sick. So. We're gonna finish up with the shelves and then we're going to um, see where we can fit everything. So, let's get to work. Um, as y'all can see, I started doing the shelves again. I'm gonna show y'all how far I've gotten. So, I've completely finished his shelf. And y'all, it's fire. Y'all can't tell me his shelf not fire. So, this is what I did on his shelf so far. And then his hats are at the top. And then, ooh, as for my show, this is what we're looking like. Um, I didn't put all the bags up there this time, and I just kind of tried to miss and match the bags. Down here, I have I decided to put my um, boots and stuff, and then I have one pair of boots on the shelf. If you can see it there with the Kurt Geiger bag. And then over here, I just have some of my uh 
sneakers and then the rest are in the closet um <clears throat> other than that like y'all we we still have a lot to do because like look i i don't even know what to say but here's the mirror and i'm recording on tiktok right now so make sure you guys go check that out um and then joe is out here oh shoot he out here starting on his boxes you need huh? you need no, what? I said you getting it in? Yeah. Hard oh, work, work. Hard oh, work, work. Um, closet is still a mess. Don't know when I'm gonna get to that, but I'm just trying to get out here situated right now. So, yeah. So it is now 7.55 p.m. Uh, we're pretty much done. Uh, we moved the other um, entertainment center in here and put the other one in the living room. I'm going to show you guys that. And then you can see this, the desk over here. And y'all, this desk, my y'all, I'm sorry. So this is like the compact desk. This was only like $40, I believe. So I'm going to have to make some stuff shake um, with the storage. And then a chair. I'm going to go look for a chair tomorrow. Um, this is what the system, what our closet system is looking like. It looks good so far. So, yeah, I'm excited because it looks so good. But as for, like, our perfumes and stuff and all that, I'm going to have to get an organizer for it. Um, just to kind of get this tidied up. Get a sunglasses, um, little... Um, holder and then yeah our rug and then we can put the curtains up It'll, and then we'll have like a picture um our, our family portrait up there on the wall and then the curtains will be all you know coming together for the most part so yeah for everything after this is really just trying to put the small pieces together of the puzzles make it feel more homey and everything so just stay tuned for this video and upcoming videos for updates and everything like that. All right, guys, here's the other, uh, the entertainment center that we bought from Target. And y'all, it's huge. And then he actually got to put his PS5 down there, so that's exciting. And it has just a lot of compartments and stuff and storage and stuff. And then we just have the mirror out here. So this is where y'all gonna be seeing the outfits from now on. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is where we're going to see the outfits from there on. Um, and we're also going to put some curtain shades up here. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get that. I might get it later this week, but I want to do like a long curtain, like a high curtain. So it's not going to be right on the actual shades. It's going to be like higher on the ceiling and it's going to stretch to the outside just because we have to open this door to go outside. So, other than that, that's pretty much all the updates right now. So, make sure you guys go ahead and like this video if you're, um, go ahead and like the video if you like the content so far. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, hey y'all. I just got home. Um. So I just got home um, from the store. I'm gonna show y'all the chair um, that I got. 
Um, don't mind this pillow. I just put it in there for effect. This is... <coughs> and I decided to get green just to give the room some color. <laughs> I literally just went into a coffin fit. I still cannot talk, y'all. I cannot talk. So, I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum. Um, I'm going to show y'all the rest of the stuff I got in a second. Y'all, he... He, he yelling at me. What? I see. We got time. Nah, I put it in there afterwards, but I guess it took a while. Uh. Well, it was open for a while, so I guess it took a while. Ooh. Okay, okay. he gonna run, y'all. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, I think here's fine. I had, to, I had to try to get like that walk in perspective. Here? Or it's not there? She's cool under the bed, put. Oh. Okay. Y'all yeah, heard him. It's October 28th. It's 1033. We just got to the gym. We want to go take our first water class, even though he's slightly upset. I'm not going to tell y'all why. That's his business. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I'm excited. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to be able to have the camera out because it's my first class. So, gotta see what the vibes are like. But, um, yeah. I just wanted to come and show my face because I haven't in like a day. Because I think the last time I talked to y'all was Tuesday. And we were supposed to be doing the, the rug and everything. So, I'm gonna show y'all that when we get back home, whenever that is. Hey, y'all. We just left our first water fit class. It was a lit. You fun? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, there were a lot of older people in there, but. We still had a lot of fun and they were cool too. So I think the next class I'm gonna try is Zumba. So I gotta see what day and time works best. But we're gonna do a Zumba class. And I probably next time I do go to the water fit class, I'm I probably will. I might I might record. But it's not all that. So uh, now we're about to head out to run our errands. I need to get put down my list and get later. The little thingy that go up there. But yeah, we want to run um, some errands right quick, and then we're gonna head to Target. No, wait, not Target. Target's, Target's a part of the errands. Target. Not Target. Target. All right, guys. We just got to Target, and we had to park in a parking lot. Like in a parking lot. For this Target. I've never been to a Target where I had to park in the freaking parking deck. So, this Target better be good. And then we ended up driving both of our cars over here because we had to go pick his car up. So, he over there. He waved. Y'all probably couldn't see him, but, um, about to go in this Target and get some stuff that we need. Um, I made a list, so try to stick to the list. So we need some sauce for, sauce for our meal prep, toothpaste, vitamins. Um, I'm thinking about getting a little storage thing for my desk curtain rods for the living room i want to go ahead and hang up some curtains in there and then some body wash but if i do see something else that i need i probably will pick it up while i'm here Look, trying out chicken pot pie it's in the bag it's in the bag hey y'all we back at home i'm gonna do a little target haul before we eat lunch so pick up some uh damage-free hanging 
command rods. I mean, what is this? Command hooks. So this is what it look like. You can find this in the uh, curtain area. We we also picked up Hamstone multivitamins by Ollie. Um, if you guys don't know, I already take the women's multivitamin uh, multivitamins for Ollie, and these are really good for you in terms of like everything it contains. And we had to pick up some toothpaste, so we got a two pack. This one is the Repair Whitening um, Arctic Breeze Time, but it's also good for sensitivity teeth and cavity protection. Also, we decided to pick up some new body wash. I told y'all we was out of uh, running out of the other one, so we decided to try this kind out. This one is the Coconut Rice Milk and Shea Butter, and y'all, it smells so good. This one is called Simply Nourish. And once again, if you don't know what Method Body is, it is a plant-based uh, plant based cleanser um, that, well, a plant-based company that makes body washes, um, hand soaps, all that stuff. So, that was the first thing that we got. And then for dinner, y'all saw us put this in the bucket. This is the um, chicken pot pie cooking sauce by Good and Gather. What? Yes. And then we also picked up four packs of the Good and Gather um, whole grain brown rice, the 92nd brown rice. These are like really good. You're trying to be quick and you know make something fast. So. Picked up some of those. And then we also picked up some of these uh, Pocky uh, sticks. They sell these at Costco, but we didn't want to get the big box, but we ended up finding these in um, Target. And y'all, they are so freaking good. Definitely go try um, these out and let me know what y'all think. And then, of course, we got the curtain rod, so that's all over here already. We got the Room Essentials uh, decorative curtain rod. Looks like this. So I'm gonna put them up in the living. I'm gonna put it up in the living room in here for the curtains. And then, lastly, I got this um, organizer for underneath my desk because y'all know that. That desk, the compact desk I got from Target, does not have any like um, organizing space or shelving or any of that stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we got from our Target haul. Um, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and get that big thumbs up. Okay, so I know y'all like the videos. I'm gonna, um, after we eat lunch, I'm gonna continue this so I can finish put myself where I need to go. Fresh for me for 30 seconds. Hey y'all. <clears throat> I didn't get to show y'all the curtains earlier um, before I went to work. It's a little bit later now. So I'm going to show y'all the curtains because it's dark now so you can see it better. But I kind of don't like it because they're too short. Um, I thought about doing like a different color variation. So like blue and white. But I was like, okay. I'm just going to chill. But the main reason why it looks good, but the main reason why I don't like it is because the curtains are too short. So I probably, I'm probably going to eventually look for some longer curtains because I want them to touch the floor at least. But um, for now it's good. Um, it makes it look more homey. I still have to put these picture frames back up. 
but I might have to wait until Joe gets back home. He's at work right now. So I might have to wait till he gets back so I can kind of make sure that I center that I center the frame because I don't want it to be crooked because I try to do it by myself. But other than that, we're going to get other stuff done tomorrow. I'm probably going to end up waking up early to go to the gym before he gets home and everything else. So I'm going to check in with y'all in the morning. We have a long list of things to do tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. Right, guys <clears throat> voice still kind of messed up but ready for the gym now um but before we go out um i want to show you guys the updated um closet system um i did finish it the other day for the most part i might add something here and there over time but this is pretty much going to be the look of the entire system so let's hop right into showing you guys the um closet system right quick system so far and just to explain obviously this is Joe's side so <clears throat> I just did it to the best of my ability what all he wanted to be displayed and then this shelf is like bad my bags um you know a couple heels and I decided to do boots because we're going into the fall 
here as you guys seen earlier i went ahead and decorated this section and like i told you guys before this like tray is from ross um it was only like 12 dollars and i just kind of decorated everything else around it and then moving on to this side i have a couple more bags here at the top that really didn't fit over over on that side and then i decided to hang my basics tops which i'll be talking to you guys about later on in a different video and then underneath it i still need to find like something for my shades i can put my shades on but for right now they're underneath there and then i just have a couple of my favorite sneakers out on this side and guys i will say that oh put them over here Ooh. I will say that it was kind of hard for me to figure out how I wanted to do the shelves um, just because I was looking at everybody else's inspo for their shelves and <clears throat> quite honestly you can't really mimic somebody else's down to the T because you don't have what they have um, or you just have different products in them. It could be different bags. It could be different shoes. This, that, and forth. But the whole thing about making your shelves look good is to get creative and just kind of move things around and see how they fit best. Because honestly, I did not expect my shelves to turn out this good and to look this good. So if I can do it, then you can do it. So yeah. And earlier, I finished pretty much setting up my desk, which I'm happy about because um, I've been waiting to get a desk for the longest. And y'all know we probably have been living here for about three months now. July, August, September. Yeah, so in October, we'll be here for three months. Um, but I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I do want to show y'all this package that I got in the mail. It's PR from Victor, I already opened it, it's PR from Victor Roth, and they sent me some of their perfume, um, so I haven't, I didn't open it to this point, so I'm about to open it together with you guys, um, because I haven't even smelled it yet. The box is so cute like I'm probably gonna keep it for sure um, I might put it on my shelf right there but don't know yet anyway so let's see what the perfume is talking about so you open the box here they start talking about like there's a QR code and they talk about you know the secret their secret service and stuff and you scan the QR code to join the loyalty program and then this is how it looks on the inside. Already, it smells so good. Wow. I'm not going to lie. The bottle is kind of little, but I know that it smells good. You would never think that this little bottle was in here, but it was. So, close up of the bottle. I'm going to show y'all right quick. Alright, so here's the close up of the bottle, guys. Try to get y'all to see this part. It's a little bit flashy. Flower bomb. Can we get it to? Oh. Flower bomb, Ruby Orchard, Victor and Roth. And then it has like this little um, signature rose on the side. Or no, signature stamp on the side. Yeah, overall, it's a very cute bottle. All right, guys. So, I let's see how this comes off. Okay. That smells really good. I already put the, my perfume on for today, but their perfume this smells so good. 
Let's see what Joe thinks. Hi, bud. Come here. Like it. Yeah. Mm. It's really nice. It's really Yeah, it's not. That's what I said. You would never thought this came in this. Yeah, protected. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so thank you, uh, Victor and Roth team, for sending me some of your perfume. Like, it smells so good. I can't wait to wear it um, when I go out or just when I, not even when I go out, but like, Every day, it could be a, like an everyday smell type of um, perfume. So, definitely, guys, go check them out. Go check them out um, if you're looking for some like nice perfume that gives you like high quality, yes man type vibes. Okay, so um, I'm about to get finished getting ready for the gym, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey y'all, I'm on the phone with it. Um, I should have recorded back camera, but it'll be fine. We're on full on front camera. So we just pulled up to Alta, as y'all can see in the background over there. So we're about to go in and get some products and then he's gonna take me to the store to get me a new cup. Because he broke he broke the cup. He broke my cup. If y'all if y'all see me drinking out of my cup lately, you see the handle is missing, and that's because of so, let's go on Ulta and we're going to buy that and then we're going to head to get in. I'm with Sid and Lil Baby. Yeah. We got four choppers this fool. Right before rapping on God, I was trapping. So get my Glock and look cool. Hey guys, so I'm back home. And I've been back home for a while. Um, it is now 6.51. We got back home like an hour ago um, or so. What, anything? I got what I need. A day at five? Yeah. Oh. Hi, people. Okay. So like I was saying, I got back home like an hour ago or so and um we end up going by um ulta which y'all will see that clip picked up some of my skincare products and like re revamped some of his products um i actually have some of the products here but you guys already know that i use 100 percent derived squalene i've been using it on my skin for like two or three years now has not done me wrong um I probably should put my ring light back up because the lighting in here isn't that great. But the camera is doing a lot of the work. Um, but I do want to talk about this other product, these other products that I got. So while I was there, I did pick up the Ordinary um, hydro Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. Um, I've been wanting to try this for a little while, so I just thought, why not? So I went ahead and picked that up. I think it was like $9. And then we did pick up some Patchology. You guys have seen me uh, use these before, but we went ahead and picked up some pathology, um, pathology um, under eye night gels. So these particular ones are restoring night eye gels. I like these ones the best because I feel like they worked the best when I used them last time. So I decided to get them again. And it's supposed to help with like overnight brightness or whatever. So I'm going to be trying these out. Uh, not trying these out, but using these on like skincare nights or um just like when I feel like my under eyes like super dry and not doing what it's supposed to do. So now 
I'm about to go ahead and get into some editing. So I have to edit. I'm probably going to, I think I want to edit my um, midweek video first because that's probably not going to take me a long, as long versus editing a vlog. Tomorrow, I probably will sit down and edit a vlog. Tomorrow Saturday, so um, I'll probably have more time to edit the vlog. Oh, I forgot to check the mailbox. I need to go do that before it gets dark. Um, also, he, Joe bought me a new cup. Don't mind this part. This is where they had the plastic on there. But he did get me a new cup. And this one is, he asked me, this one is better. Anyway, the only thing I don't like is how, like, movie the scrawl is like it just yeah so but other than that i love this cup and for some reason i'm so thirsty today but um yeah we got that cup from ross after we went by ulta so definitely check out ross i know check out marshall's um, for cups, although Ross does have good cups as well, but this time when we went, they really didn't have any good cups, so I was like, yeah, let's go to Marshall's, but yeah, um, I'll be right back, um, I'll probably, I'm probably gonna hit y'all up after I finish editing, uh, one of the videos. Hey, y'all, <coughs> hey, y'all, um, today is Saturday, September 30th. Um, it's 5.51 p.m. I know I have not vlogged all day. Um, I am still under the weather. Um, I was feeling okay when I woke up this morning. But, um, around, I want to say around 12.30, I started feeling not so good. So, I got some new medicine. Um, if you guys have never heard of this medicine, this is by Simical, the black be um, black be black elderberry. And I've been my my aunt and my grandma always used to give me this whenever I was sick, um, and it always seemed to help. So I went, we went, out, we went out and bought me some some of that. And I've been taking it. Um, I in, I did end up taking like I want to say almost a three to four hour nap because I was just that depleted. So now I'm back up. Joe is headed to work, so <clears throat> I'm at home. Um, I want to show you guys what we made. So he made the main dish earlier. And now I'm making the cornbread for dinner. So. I'm making the cornbread for dinner. <clears throat> so we're making Jiffy. My grandma made, made this for me all the time. So I'm going to be doing it in the skillet today. You know, the old fashioned way. So. I got the ingredients. I'm gonna do this with y'all since I haven't did since I haven't did anything all day. I'm gonna do do this. Um, I feel like I should have had a bigger bowl, but this bowl should do for now. So I got our milk, egg, and everything else. Um, the only difference is it's gonna go into a pan instead of going into um, some muffin holders. So we need. We need one third milk. Let's see what we can do. One third. I will hold this bowl. Hold this, cause boy. All right, and then we got our one egg. And this is one large egg for sure. Okay. 
And then what we're gonna do is mix that together. And then I'm gonna let it rest for like three minutes. So, I gotta be kinda careful the way I stir. <laughs> Only because I don't want this to get all over the cabinet. And I wish I had a whisk, cause I mean, it would have made this so much easier. And if you guys have never used Jiffy before, um, Jiffy is going to be a little bit more um, lumpy than if you use some type of other batter. And um, eventually, like as we continue to cook on here, I'm going to show you guys the other cornbread that my grandma loved so much. And honestly, I'm going to say, I say she... Because she will not eat nothing that she did not love. So that's why I said um, I probably just eat all the things that she ate because everything she ate was good. And that's that's how that's just how it is with grandmas, okay? When grandmas when grandmas make something and they like it, you like it because they got some good taste. But um yeah, so I'm almost done stirring here. And my voice is a little bit better. Yeah, it's the fact I've been talking for like two to three minutes about this cornbread. And y'all didn't hear none of that. None of it. So, oh Lord. To sum it up, um, I was saying that my grandma really loved Jiffy cornbread. And there's another type of cornbread that she would eat. Um, but y'all might have heard that actually. I think the camera might have just turned off. But either way, this is the cornbread she likes, so this is what I like. Um, I stirred it a good bit, so it is wet, nice and wet, nice and smooth. It has a couple lumps, but that's just how Jiffy is. So, um, we're going to let the Jiffy rest for about two to three minutes. Um, before we put it into the pan, I'm going to be making pan cornbread. Um, and then after that, it'll just be put in. So Jiffy is pretty simple. So, I mean, it's not that hard to make it. And then we're going to use the olive oil to coat the pan before we put it into the stove. Today, since I said today is September 30th, this is the last day of the month. So I'm about to go ahead and redo the calendar. Best way to be productive in the next month is to plan the next month, you know, the week before. So I've been doing this for quite a while. If you're somebody that has issues with, um, you know, having a routine to follow and stuff like that definitely get you a calendar a planner something like that to like keep you on track with your goals so next month coming up y'all is my birthday month big scorpio in the building as from all my libras in october y'all know what it is but anyway um my birthday is next month i will be 24 Kobe year but anyway so um I'm going to do the calendar and yeah ain't got much else to say all right y'all also y'all know next month is October so it's the scary month we're going to be starting um probably 30 days of 30 days of Halloween uh movies so that's going to start tomorrow. I'm excited. That means Harry Potter, like all that. Harry Potter, scary movies, all the jazz. Like, we're bringing it out. So, 
Um, if you guys have any recommendations for movies to watch in October, definitely let me know. Hey guys, <clears throat> so I just wanted to come and close out the vlog. I'm about to <clears throat> head to sleep. Okay, like I was saying, I'm about to head to sleep. Um, it is 1053. Well, not head to sleep, but at least lay down and then, you know, fall asleep. So, just trying to get my hair ready for bed. And in the next vlog, <coughs> first of all, in the next vlog, hopefully this cough is gone. But, um, in the next vlog, I'll be, I'm going to be taking these braids out because it's time. I've had my hair in these braids for a month now, so, well, about a month now, so I'll be taking them out probably on Monday of this upcoming week, so, yeah, after that I gotta figure out what I am gonna do with my hair. I forgot to mention that I did pick up <clears throat> no I might have told y'all um I did pick up some color while while I was at Ulta um when we went to Ulta the other day so I don't know I gotta figure out how to not figure out how to use it but I gotta use it try it out but first I need to watch some tutorials on like straightening hair and stuff like that but if anything I might what I might do is it's gonna straighten in my ear I might just um, wand curl my hair um, on blowing out here and then just let it, you know, be like that. But yeah, I'm about to head to bed. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Become part of the fam. And turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss out on any other videos. Lastly, make sure you leave this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog. It is very helpful to the algorithm and just allowing others to discover the same video that you have already watched. So, if you want to be helpful, please leave a thumbs up on the video. And of course, I'll see you guys in the very next vlog.